In the Moldovan capital Chisinau, thousands demonstrated in support of the Dignity and Truth Civic Group, which is campaigning against organised crime and corruption. Participants in the June the 7th rally called for the resignation of several politicians suspected of involvement in large-scale embezzlement from Moldovan banks. Moldovan media sources estimate that nearly a billion dollars disappeared from three banks shortly before parliamentary elections last November. In Afghanistan, students at Kabul University protested against what they called atrocities against Muslims in Myanmar. The students called on the Afghan government to take a strong position on Myanmar's treatment of its Rohingya minority. Thousands of Rohingya Muslims have fled poverty and oppression at home, fueling a refugee crisis in Southeast Asia. In the Tajik capital Dushanbe, President Emamali Rahman welcomed Afghanistan's chief executive officer Abdullah Abdullah. The two leaders discussed expanding their country's cooperation in the energy sector, transportation and efforts to combat drug trafficking and terrorism. Businesses were closed in Quetta, Pakistan in protest against the killing of five ethnic Hazaras in the city the previous day. Unknown assailants opened fire on two shops on June the 7th in what police said was a targeted killing. Pakistan's Balochistan province has seen a rising number of attacks targeting Shiite Muslim Hazaras. Also in Pakistan, several political parties demonstrated in Landikotal to demand the repeal of British colonial era laws still in force in the federally administered tribal areas. The protesters on June the 7th also demanded that local elections be held in the tribal regions. The pre-independence laws called the Frontier Crimes Regulations limit residents' access to the Pakistani court system and do not allow for the elections of local officials. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.